Hello everyone, welcome back to Popcorn in Bed. Thank you so much for being here. I am excited to watch another Bruce Willis movie with you tonight. We had a Bruce Willis poll, Fifth Element one. I watched that, I have a reaction to that. You know, I liked it more on rewatch. Once I knew a little bit what to expect and like got the tone and humor of it, I could appreciate it more. I thought I was going into a very serious Blade Runner sci-fi thing and it ended up just being over the top and exaggerated and that's what it was meant to do. Anyways, it wasn't my favorite, not my least favorite either, but I am excited to watch the runner up from that same poll, Unbreakable. A lot of people have suggested this and I'm pretty sure there's another movie called Unbreakable about a prisoner of war and that's what I thought everyone was talking about, but maybe they were. I don't know. Tonight I'm watching the Bruce Willis Unbreakable. I think this is part of a trilogy, um, but also can be standalone. I don't know if he's in all three. We'll see. I know very little about it other than I think his sci-fi genre as well. And that Nick Fury, Samuel L. Jackson is in it. So it's got some big names. I'm excited. Carly and I are going to be watching Lethal Weapon 3 this month as well. So that was not on the poll. That was just a shoe in Okay, so Bruce Willis in Unbreakable. Here we go. Don't forget to like and subscribe, hit the bell. And what is your favorite Bruce Willis movie of all time? Take away Die Hard though. Okay, let me know in the comments. Let's get rolling. There are 35 pages and 124 illustrations in the average comic book. A single issue ranges in price from $1 to over $140,000. There are 70,000 comics sold in the US every day, over 62,780,000 each year. The average comic collector owns 3,312 collectibles for one year of his life reading them. <sighs> Only comic book I've ever read is Archie Comics at the checkout line at Super Sam. Philadelphia department store. An ambulance is on the way. Thank you. Is there a name yet? Elijah. Is he supposed to be crying like this? Oh, oh. oh I do not do well with baby crying. What happened during the delivery? The baby just wanted to come right out and there were no problems. Did you drop him? Did you drop this baby? What's the matter with him? It appears that your baby has sustained some fractures while inside your uterus. His arms and his legs are broken. Wait. Why do I have a scary feeling? Not a scary feeling, but like a... No. <sighs> Babies, man. Like, get me. It's just in Philadelphia. You like sports? It's my field. I represent athletes. I'm an agent. Are you looking for any male synchronized swimmers? I'm thinking about getting into that. I'm afraid of water. I think that's a problem. <laughs> Do you like football? Not really. Thought he would have gone for the lie there. I'm David Dunn. Kelly. Hi. Hi, nice to meet you. How long are you going to be in Philadelphia? Small talk first. I'm married. Great. I'm sorry. What are you talking about? I think you misunderstood when I was uh, yeah. saying. <laughs> oh, crap. I didn't mean that. I mean, in his defense, he could have just been asking how long are you going to be there? But in his not defense, he did take off his wedding ring. My heart is pounding for some reason. Nothing has even happened. They're setting up a vibe. Wait a sec. 
What? Some cars still on fire. If you're just tuning in, East Rail train number 177 has derailed. It's alive. Try to pack some of that up. In a serious accident. How are you feeling? Okay. Good. It was just a bunch of train crashes, weren't there? Were they people train? Oh, scare me. Where were you sitting on the train? Against the window. What's happening? Why are you looking at me like that? Your train derailed. Some kind of malfunction. They only found two people alive so far. His skull was cracked open and most of his left side was crushed. And to answer your question, there are two reasons why I'm looking at you like that. One, because it seems in a few minutes that you will officially be the only survivor of this train wreck. And two, because you didn't break one bone when I was scratched on you. What? Oh my gosh. Oh, that little baby. Getting Sixth Sense vibes. Is he actually dead? What happened in New York? I don't think I got the job. I'm still going to, uh, I'm still moving there. Uh, just not now. Good night. How many days of your life have you been sick? Is Noel in, ma'am? No, sir, he is not. Could you ask Noel something for me, please? Would you ask him to check how many sick days I've taken since I worked here? He doesn't know? What, you hit your head on that train? Get your brain to start working again? $40. $40 what? You're getting a $40 a week raise, that's it. I checked, you were right. You've never taken a sick day. Five years, no sick day, I get it, you want a raise. Is Joseph okay? He's asleep. Oh. What's their deal? I wanted to ask you a question. It's gonna sound a little strange, but when's the last time I was sick? Do you remember? Um, I, I don't know. It's been a while. I haven't been sick this year, I know that. Do you remember me getting sick? I'm just sick. Um. Not a specific day. Audrey, do you remember me ever getting sick? In the three years we lived in this house? Before Joseph was born? Before we ever got married? I, I can't remember. I get sick every other week. Not remembering one cold, or a, a fever, or a sore throat. How is he just realizing that this is weird? Um, I means probably too tired to remember. You don't seem on good terms. In 1974. You think this is the baby? No more sitting in this room. I let it go on long enough. I'm not going out there anymore. I'm not getting hurt again. You might fall between this chair and that television if that's what God has planned. They call me Mr. Glass at school because I break like glass. You make this decision now to be afraid and you will never turn back. They're always mm -hmm. filming things from weird different angles like through the chairs in the train behind the body in the hospital through the tv like this sweet boy i got a present for you or forget why where is it on a bench across the street is this someone's gonna take it then you better get out there soon is this real like people that can break like this for him. Oh yeah, I forgot about the comic book thing at the beginning. It's baby Dizzy. I bought a whole bunch. There'll be one of these waiting for you. Every time you want to come out here, they say this one has a surprise ending. This is before the first issue of the comic book hit the stand. It's a classic depiction of good versus evil. The thing to notice about this piece is its realistic depiction of its figures. This is a vintage. Wrap it up. Oh, my kid's gonna go berserk. Once again, please? Uh, my son Jeb, it's a gift for him. He's four. No, 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 you need to go. 
What? Do you see any Teletubbies in here? Do you see a slender plastic tag clipped to my shirt with my name printed on it? Well, that's what you see at a toy store. And you must think you're in a toy store because you're here shopping for an infant named Jeb. Now, one of us has made a gross error and wasted the other person's valuable time. This is an art gallery, my friend. And this is a piece of art. Is he allowed to do that? So he's We're by appointment only. the kid. I got a card from this store. This one was under the windshield wiper of my car. How certain are you that you've never taken ill? 75%? Well, that's not certain at all, is it? It's hole number one. I'm going to be extremely skeptical about all this. About all what? I'm assuming you've never been injured. Would I be wrong in that assumption? Dad's been injured. In college, I was in a car accident. Was it serious? He couldn't play football anymore. That's hole number two. Mr. Price, can we talk about the note that you left on my car? I've studied the form of comics intimately. I spent a third of my life in a hospital bed with nothing else to do but read. This city has seen its share of disasters. I watched the aftermath of that plane crash. I watched the carnage of the hotel fire. I watched the news, waiting to hear a very specific combination of words, but they never came. Then one day, I saw a news story about a train accident. There is a sole survivor, and he is miraculously unharmed. I have something called osteogenesis imperfecta. It's a genetic disorder. Okay. I don't make a particular protein very well, and it makes my bones very low in density. I've had 54 breaks in my life. <laughs> if there is someone like me in the world, and I'm at one end of the spectrum, couldn't there be someone else the opposite of me at the other end? Someone who doesn't get sick, who doesn't get hurt like the rest of us. And he probably doesn't even know it. A person put here to protect the rest of us, to guard us. Wait, you think my dad's a real- I don't think anything right now. It's a possibility. One with many holes. He's saying he's a superhero? Joseph, don't take another sip of that water. I see guys like you all the time in my work. You find someone you want to take advantage of, you tell them a fantastic story. Somewhere in there you say, just need your credit card number. You said you've met guys like me in your work. What exactly is it that you do? Look at the university stadium. I'm a security guard. Okay. Oh. Please, no. Oh, I thought he was going to do something. Local footballs are injured in your fatal car accident. Only survivor. Is he the only survivor in a car accident too? I've come to a decision. I just want to ask you something, okay? And you can be totally honest. I'm prepared for any answer and it won't affect me. Have you been with anyone? I mean, since we've been having problems, the answer won't affect me. I just need to know, <laughs> you know? I mean, it won't affect me either way. Keep saying that. No. My decision is that I want to start again. That I want it to be like it was in the beginning. That's what I was hoping she would say. And it's a big deal that you walked away from that train. I feel like it's a second chance. And if you feel like asking me out sometime, it'd be okay. Okay. He's not gonna reply to that speech? I was really vulnerable. Look, we got a guy over gate 17C with a bogus ticket. Says he knows you. Why is it do you think that of all the professions in the world, you chose protection? A uh, very strange man. You made that decision, and I find that very interesting. Now all I need is your credit card number. That last part was a joke. Gate's heavy is 10 minutes before kickoff. Rich, why don't we pat down? Just give me a minute. Is there a problem? Uh, I'm sorry, I might have to search you. Tall guy in a camouflage jacket. Sometimes people carry weapons in here. We do pat downs with the crowd to discourage people from carrying. If he's carrying, I'll step out of line. Spidey sense? Spidey? Is that what he. what just happened there? <laughs> How'd you know that guy you bumped was carrying a weapon? It was that camouflage army jacket he was wearing. Those guys like to carry hunting knives and stuff for show. You thought he was carrying a knife? I thought he was carrying something, yeah. But not a knife. I got a picture of a silver gun with a black grip tucked in his pants. 
Look, I gotta be down on the sidelines during the game. You can get the down characters here. Characters in comics are often attributed special power. Okay. He's gotta know how he sounds. It's an exaggeration of the truth. Maybe it's based on something as simple as instinct. He might not have been carrying anything. But he might have been carrying a silver gun with a black grip. That car accident you ran, is there anyone else involved? My wife, Audrey, she was in the car with me. Have a good life, Elijah. Philadelphia and its outlying district. Hold up a second! What? Be careful, Elijah. Jeez, I'm worried about him. I just want to ask you something. Oh, frick. No! I don't think I can watch. <gasps> oh, it hurts. <laughs> Is he right? I mean, is he right about... What's his name? Done. You put too much. That's 250 pounds. How much can you lift? That's the most I ever lifted. That could have been dangerous, Joseph. Why don't you go upstairs now and let me finish up, okay? I'll take it off. You think you could have beaten up Bruce Lee? No. <gasps> What if he wasn't allowed to kick and you were really mad at him? No, Joseph. <laughs> oh, come on. How much did you take off? I lied. You had it? How much is it? How much is it? 270 pounds. Oh, Let's put more. Okay. He's so deadpan, isn't he? Okay. How much was that? More? You should never do anything like this. What do you do if something bad happens? Get mom. You spot him? Holy crap. <laughs> Okay, tell me how much, like, professional weightlifters bench. How much did you put on that time? All of it. What else can we use? He has powers. Is he Captain America? He's... How much is it, Dad? About 350 pounds. 14 breaks. Simply shattered. They call me Mr. Glass. Who does? Kids. Are you all right, Mr. Price? Shall I continue? Pins were placed throughout the length of the leg. The use of a wheelchair will be needed for a two-month period. Hospital stay will range from five to eight days, followed by nine to 12 months of physical therapy. Your uh, 10 o'clock is here. It's gonna be him. She's a physical therapist. That's Audrey. Elijah, right? How long have you been married? Twelve years. How'd you get together? <laughs> I'm a little nervous being here. I ask too many questions when I'm nervous. Always like... A car accident. Now you're gonna have to tell me more. My husband was a star athlete in college and we were in an accident. Our car flipped on an icy road and we were both injured and he couldn't play football anymore. If that hadn't happened, we probably wouldn't have been together. How so? I couldn't spend my life with someone who played football. It's pretty much that simple. Why? Football, in many ways, is the opposite of what I do. You're rewarded the more you punish your opponent. It's too much about violence, and I don't want violence in my life. What part of David's body was injured? Who said my husband's name was David? But, but, but answer the question. Testing out his instincts? A 737 crashes on takeoff. 172 die, no survivor. An East Rail train derails seven and a half miles outside the city. 131 die, one survivor. He is unharmed. I've spoken with your husband about his survival. I suggested a rather unbelievable possibility. Since then, I... I've come to believe that possibility, however unbelievable, is now more a probability. And what was it you suggested? You're gonna lose her here. I hope you can keep an open mind.
What's the plan? Excuse me, sir. Can you step out of line, please? We've been having some problems with people selling drugs here in the stadium. Would you mind if I check your pockets? Raise your arms, please. Come on, raise them up. Oh, oh shit. Got you. Put my hands down now. Hope you find them. You put something in the garbage can. Yeah. Just came into the office. Your kid was hurt. Some play rehearsal at school. He wants to come down there. Is that your dad? I bet my dad could beat up your dad. Classic kid thing. Do I need to put any smelly ointment on him or anything? No, no, it's more emotional damage, not, uh, not too serious. Nothing like when I sent you to the hospital. What? My office was on the other side of the building back then. You don't remember me, do you? I had red hair. You were a little younger than Joseph when it happened. Change the rules of conduct around the pool because of you. What happened? You still tell them about it like it was some sort of ghost story. Did you know there was a kid nearly drowned in that pool? He lay on the bottom of the pool for five minutes, and when they pulled him out, he was dead. He doesn't remember let this. Them tell it. Just keep them safe. He's still phobic of water. Told the girl on the train. They were messing with this Chinese girl in the dressing room. You can't let bad things happen to good people, right? That's the hero's code. I tried to make them stop, but they kept pushing me down and they wouldn't let me get back up. I thought maybe because you were my dad, I thought I might be like you. Oh my gosh. I'm not like you. I'm just an ordinary man. No, you're not. Why do you keep saying that? That's sad when patients get like that. They lose reality. Joseph, what the hell are you doing? You don't believe. I'll show you. You can't get hurt. That gun's not loaded. He doesn't know where I keep the bullets. And your rookie of the year trophy. Joseph, did you load that gun? You won't get hurt. <gasps> Elijah was wrong. No one believes him. Joseph, listen to me. Sometimes when people get sick or hurt for a long time, their mind gets hurt too. When they start to think things that aren't true, he told me what he thought about your father. It isn't true. <gasps> Do you remember the story about the, about the boy that almost drowned in the pool? That was me they were talking about. I almost died. That was Bye. me. I'm not lying. You no, know your father was injured in college. You know that. You know all about that. Don't do it. He'll die, Joseph. I'll just shoot him once. Joseph, listen to what you want. Holy crap. If you pull that trigger, I'm going to leave. I'm going to go to New York. That bullet is just going to bounce off me. But then I'm going to go upstairs, and I'm going to pack, and I'm going to leave. Because I thought we were just starting to be friends for real. And they don't shoot each other. Do they, Audrey? No shooting friends, Joseph. Holy crap. Put it down, Joseph. <gasps> I followed the guy in the camouflage jacket. He had a silver gun with a black grip. Were you really injured in that car accident? Because I believe you faked it. Took the opportunity to end your football career, no questions asked. You did it, of all things, for a woman. I guess that makes sense. He might be right. Perhaps you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing. Stop messing with my life, Elijah. My son almost shot me last night. I never said you couldn't be killed. When I was a kid, I spent a week in the hospital getting better from pneumonia. I almost drowned. Heroes don't get killed like that. Normal people do, right? I don't need to see you anymore, okay? Please stay away from my family. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I, I just want, this is what I want. I feel very scared. Hey man, it's 20 after, it's time to choose. Oh, look man, I didn't know you were in a, just choose something, all right? Back to what I want to happen. Just want, I just want him to smile. Bruce Willis, I want him to smile. Okay, look, man, I'm, I'm just gonna wheel you out. Is he okay? Why is he doing this? Man, I don't care if you are in a wheelchair. If you do that again, I'm calling 5 0. You're gonna be sitting your ass in jail now. What's he doing? How much for this one? And tree man. Okay, my turn. Favorite song? Soft and Wet by the artist formerly known as Prince. <laughs> Soft and Wet. I need to hear that song now. What the title? When was the first time the thought popped into your head we might not make it? Oh boy, we're getting honest. Look, maybe it wasn't a specific moment. Maybe it was. 
I had a nightmare. I didn't wake you up so you could tell me that it was okay. I think that was the first time. Does that count? That counts. Do you knowingly keep me and Joseph at a distance? Yes. Why? It's good. This is communication. You just don't feel right, Audrey. You resent us, David? Resent the life you have? You know, even if it meant we couldn't have been together, I never would have wished that injury on you. What you could do physically was a gift. I never would have wished it to go away. You know that, right? You got two calls after Joseph went to bed. Someone from New York that has a security job, they want to hire you? I didn't know you guys were moving to New York. Thanks for telling me. We weren't all going to move. Great. <laughs> Be honest here, we're just at the beginning, and I don't expect you or I to change because of one date. If you do go to New York, we can develop this. We'll just be forced to take it slow. I mean, this is our second time around, David. I don't expect us to get carried away, you know? But I guess congratulations is the right thing to say. She is saying so much, and he's just being silent. Ah, I need him to talk. It's Elijah. It was so obvious. It was this one issue that brought it back for me. Century Comics 117. That's where this group, the Coalition of Evil, tried to ascertain the weakness of every superhero because they all have one, just like you. Your bones don't break. Mine do. That's clear. You don't get sick. But for some reason, you and I react the exact same way to water. We swallow it too fast, we choke. We get some in our lungs, we drown. We are connected, you and I. Just on opposite ends. Water. It's like your kryptonite. I feel like Bruce, uh, David, after that gun incident, don't you feel like you just like shut it down? Like, I don't know. Do you think he feels scared? We're excited about this. I'm scared. <sighs> the kiss his wife. What's the matter? Oh, it's a flashback. Audrey? You see hero. Are you hurt? Hey man, are you hurt? This is it. Hello. I wasn't injured in that car accident. David. I've never been injured, Elijah. What am I supposed to do? Oh my gosh. Go to where people are. You won't have to look very long. It's all right to be afraid, David, because this part won't be like a comic book. You can see it. Oh, stop. I think he drank too much. He stopped. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Can I come in? Who are you? I like your house. What do you. <gasps> Holy crap. Now what? Oh, shoot. Is that the house? Oh my gosh. What's he doing? Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Oh, that made me. Okay, oh my gosh. Woo! That was a rush of emotion or something. So scared. Holy crap, don't be so scary. Oh. My. Gosh. Are those kids? Why 
Why is he doing this? Why is that guy doing this? Why is this the scariest thing? Making French toast. I've been thinking about Elijah Price. If he shows up again, I think we should call the police, okay? Hug that kid and him. But now I'm worried because Audrey's gonna be so mad if she finds out. See the villain's eyes? They're larger than the other characters. Insinuate a slightly skewed perspective on how they see the world. It doesn't look scary. Mm -hmm, that's what I say to my son. But he says there's always two kinds. There's the soldier villain who fights the hero with his hand. And then there's the real threat, the brilliant and evil arch enemy who fights the hero with his mind. Are you Elijah's mother? I am. He's spoken of you. Says you're becoming friends. We are. This is where he lives, too? It has begun. Tell me something, David. When you woke up this morning, was it still there? The sadness? No. I think this is where we shake hands. I worked in that building 25 years. I know all its secrets. Secrets? Like, if there ever was a fire on floors one, two, or three, everyone in that hotel would be burned alive. Passengers aren't allowed in there. Oh my gosh. He, he. You know what the scariest thing is? To not know your place in this world. 
caused all those accidents. Mm -hmm. He killed hundreds and hundreds of people. Does he know he knows? Wait. I almost gave up hope. He's the arch. He's the enemy. He's the mm -hmm. arch nemesis, mm -hmm. the one. I questioned myself killed all those people. But I found you. So many sacrifices just to find you. <laughs> Great. Now that we know who you are, I know who I am. I'm not a mistake. It all makes sense. In a comic, you know how you can tell who the arch villain's going to be? He's the exact opposite of the hero. And most times they're friends like you and me. I should have known way back when. You know why, David? Because of the kids. Because of the kids? They called me Mr. Glass. Okay, I've been sitting here thinking about my feelings on this movie and I can't really figure them out because it was, it was slow, like it, it was, but at the same time, like so intriguing that you couldn't stop and my mind's racing, how is this gonna end? What's like, I really liked it. I mean, okay, there's like the me who loves rom-coms and happy movies right and and she did not like it because it's dark and sad and depressing and like literally dark and it's raining and scary and sad everyone's sad but then the me who has watched 400 plus films on this channel really loved it because i can tell how good bruce willis was acting in that and I could tell that Samuel L. Jackson also was like, just, oh, again, he was just like, like the whole thing was so understated. The whole story was so understated. No huge action scenes, no, I mean, except the one that made me jump out of my pants, but I didn't realize till the end. And then it, then I remembered that this was M. Night Shyamalan. Same as Signs and The Sixth Sense, which I can totally see. But Bruce Willis just played like this perfect, you know, guy next door. And I don't think that like the whole family dynamic was... Like I like that. It made it seem like ordinary and real, but like then this extraordinary stuff is happening. I did not see the ending coming with him. Did not at all. I thought he was going to be like a Nick Fury type, like, and he was going to be his first Avenger. You know, like he was going to be the head honcho of superheroes, not the arch nemesis film. But all, of course, it came back to that. They were connected. And that ending line, I should have known by the kids because they called me Mr. Glass. That's like so comic booky. And like from that beginning scene, oh, that surprised me. There's more. I want to watch them. Oh, like, like I said, it was slow, but not in like a boring, I want this to end, just in like a almost eerie way. Like from the, from the very beginning, my heart started pounding and didn't even know why. And that I think was a mark of what they wanted to do to me. Good job. Shyamalan. Shyamalama D. <laughs> is that where that's from? <laughs> okay. Oh, guys, is Bruce Willis in the other ones? Because I gotta watch that. Someone said after Lethal Weapon, no one ever takes Bruce Willis seriously. Like, they're just like, oh, he's just like some action star. Like, like I don't know. All the guys in Fast and Furious or something. But no, no way. Like, he is good. He's good at being that guy. I just, it's so weird to think of just seeing him in Fifth Element too, where it's just so the opposite. So he is good. He's got range. Okay. Thank you so much for watching along with me. I'll see you next time.